guys, it's Sarah and today I have a book review for you and today I'm going to be reviewing The Library at Mount Char and this is written by Scott Hawkins. This came out on March 15th so this is available now and this one was sent to me by a website called Blogging for Books and it is a site where you can get advanced copies of books for um in exchange for like doing a video review or blogging about it on a blog. So if you have a booktube channel or a blog, like a book blog that you would like to get some physical copies of reviews for, I will leave a link down to the website below so you can kind of check out all the details. So this book is a debut novel from Scott Hawkins and this one is kind of, I think it's been a little bit classified as fantasy. I kind of think of it as magical realism because it is set in our world. It's not like a made up world or anything. And um, so that's kind of how I felt it was categorized. So I think of it more of a magical realism, but there are some fantasy elements in it. Um, and this one is following our two main characters, which are Carolyn and Stephen. So Carolyn grows up with a man named Just Father, and he is not her biological father, but he's more of a father figure, and he raises her and um, kind of grooms her and teaches her certain magical elements that she can perform, and he's kind of grooming her to take his place one day in um, this whole society that he has kind of created. And Stephen is a regular old Joe, and he is a plumber, and he ends up crossing paths with Carolyn, and um, she kind of tempts him into performing a heist on something that she needs from a house. Um, and Stephen is a former thief, but he has not stolen anything for a very long time, but he finds himself very tempted to help her with this. And before he knows it, Stephen is kind of thrown into this crazy world, and he's surrounded by a very colorful cast of characters, including a psychopath that wears a tutu, and a lion that Stephen can actually communicate with. And that's kind of all I can tell you, because <laughs> this book was not anything at all like I expected. I don't even know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting any like magical realism type things, and I think that's because I did not read a lot of synopsis or read a lot of reviews or anything like that before I started reading this. So I went into this very, very blind. I just wasn't sure what was going to be happening. And I think that's kind of the best way to go into it. Um, I'd heard it was weird and that it was very different, but I still wasn't expecting it to be this. So for this one, the characters were great. They were very flawed, but they were also pretty lovable. And a lot of them had their own set of issues, but you understood their flaws because of those issues, if that makes sense. And um, there was a lot of twists and turns in here that I was not expecting. Like I said, I was not expecting any of the magical realism aspects of it. So every time something like that happened, it threw me for a loop. And a lot of it was very, very creative. You also see a lot of struggles, both personally for the characters themselves and also for the welfare of humanity in general. Overall, I really, really like this. It took me a little time to get used to the environment of the story and just kind of like, oh sure, of course, of course that would happen. That's completely realistic. <laughs> so it took me a little time to get used to that, but once I did, I was good. There were a few things towards the end that were a little on the science side of things and I'm not good at science so that kind of confused me a little bit but um, I got the main gist of it. But solid, very very solid debut novel. I thought it was very creative and um, I really enjoyed it. I found myself really really enjoying it even though magical realism is not really a genre that I'm super comfortable with but this was good. I really liked it. So overall, I gave this book four stars, and um, I mainly just knocked off a star because some of it was a little confusing, and it just took me some time to really get comfortable with it. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it, and I would definitely recommend it for anyone who really likes magical realism or fantasy. So thank you, Blogging for Books, for sending this book my way. I really enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions about um, the book or about the website, go ahead and try to leave them below. I will have a link down to Blogging for Books in the description if you want to go check it out, but you do need to have some sort of format, um, a YouTube channel or a book blog in order to receive books from them. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you again soon.
Bye.